Hello everyone. This is Surup to Sky, and we are going to explain this fee management Python project to you. Let's start this. So there is a project based on loops. This project is completely based on loops. First thing is a simple message: Welcome to the fee management program. The these are the th green things are those which users see when they open or run their co run your code this is this code is available in telegram group and more than that of a lot more codes are available and they are more increasing there are a lot more varieties you can use them they are completely free so these are five points which he has mentioned here which has to be done on this program when we run this code so for all these files we have four different loops if come we are using if loops if elif and else loop for every termination of line so first thing we will you note here that command int output enter your choice 1 to 5 is the key point where user enters a number from these 1 to 5 and this command 1 if user chooses any of the number from 1 to 5 he will get, get if 1 is chosen we are explaining this one by one if 1 is chosen these all the things which are already saved or fixed for a user will be shown these are the data already available there is this can be improvised by using a csv file or a sql database so that these number of lines will reduced and you're in the lesser number of lines you can create a more impactful and customized program so that was was first command now we are terminating to another loop if was con completed now you are we are using elif loop when command is is equals to is equals to two for this double is equals to implies that comparison this is a boolean operator and if it is true if this all the things which is intended will run else the other thing will happen so elif program elif loop is different from else if loop if loop simplifies that this work is going to happen and elif if that work doesn't work then the other thing what we are going to do is elif and we can use elif again and again in whatever number of times we need so we are actually here we are making from s2 stu1 to stu8 we are making empty dictionaries and for every empty dictionaries we are setting up values from the user entry with their index name admission class with their names and all the things happen there are saved in a dictionary with in this such way that stu1 the under the bracket of name is equals to v1 the key and value are implied you know dictionary are the key value pairs so these in this way we save this thing now we have completed the second command but here is the thing you can actually add that if you if we had information has been added by the user in our database or you can say because there is no such database things in our data of programs we can add also that if you if user want to see that data which he has entered or not if and you using nested loops and if loop again in the elif loop if user says yes in any manner said small or capitals it will show the output otherwise it will pass or terminate to the another loop which was it will leave this loop and this will break into another loop 
which is our command 3 now command 3 is interesting we are using import json json is a pretty printing thing uh, for presenting dictionaries in a readable manner because you know there is some problems in dictionary dictionary shuffle their data in any manner they are there is no fixed and and they are not actually quite good in readable form so for this we are using pretty printing pretty printing is in the class 11th ip book and i'll show you in the telegram group keep joining in the telegram group we have a lot more things and a question on ability basis so again five empty dictionaries and their values are set up by here class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 and class 5 and for class 5 there are some things that for every subject there is another different different values so we are having different different values and then the last line this one print json dumps field intent 5 this one is the syntax of json module where intent is the number of different column uh, different rows which you have to imply it will return the output in a downward motion i have output in this file in the downside i will show you the output now let's move to the fourth command if user want to enter the class if you want to user want to know the fees of the because let's here you can notice that for fourth command we if to do, deposit fees so we are going to know how to deposit fees for this here elif4 then class user enters the cla class of the student and now for different class there is a different fee structures for class less than or equals to 2 there is a first loop where if class is less than or equals to 2 nested loop again the tuition fee would be this the boy fee is 2700 and tuition fee is 200 now the, there is a difference in the fee structure between girls and boys so there is again and loop if loop in that second if loop you can easily mention now if you want to know about loops you can have a better look on class 11th if you have otherwise you will have a pretty problems in it loops are very pretty simple but you have to know about things now if then girl is written in any manner capital so small and then this thing is written all the green things are message they are not the part of the code they are just the message shown by the user this is you for the you making the our program more user friendly so that user can easily understand the program and then elif and else one thing to note here or you can mention it that elif loop is always elif statement is always used bit in between if and else because it is a mixture elif is else if so it is a mixture of it so if initiate the loop and else terminates the loop and elif continues the loop in the number of times whatever we want now again here is a loop of this intendation are very important for this python intendation are very important now if class is greater than 2 and less than 5 there is a other fee structure fee structure and for girls and boys there is another fee values and there is else command for every time we use that for instead of giving error we should prefer to use please enter a valid option it will be better to show a one liner error into a number of liners error by the python so it will just don't show the error so i'm making more timeable uh, for different classes here is a different and one thing to note here for different for class 11th and 12th there is a difference in the subjects so sub on the basis of subjects the fee structure is different so there would be another thing that for different kind of subjects they are for every subject the fee structure is already defined now for user entry we are 
get to know from the user that what is the subject what are the subjects of the you student if you want to know the fees of this so from the fees and from the structure we can easily uh, the program will easily calculate that from using loops different loops and there is a lot more elif loop used here i would like to have a clear look on it after this video the file is already in the telegram group and in the description too you can have a look there is a lot more file join the telegram group and see the pinned message in the telegram channel you will get to know everything now our last fifth command elif fifth to calculating annual fees by using simple mathematical operations so for fee annual fees by the student so for different classes there are different fee structures for different for class 11th and 12th there is a fee structure based on subjects so subject based fee structure are there and you can easily have a look at it now the the output part output are for if you use one so we use students and we know that student was previously defined by the our code it was not user entry the, the, the thing which was user entry was the number so if user chooses one you can note here black colored here among the blue one blue ones are the computer orientations or computer says that those blue things and black things are user defined so user says one so one means view students and view students these are all the data which we have already discussed has been sent and then termination line thank you for using and now if you want if you used two that is to add student we used to so this command appears the inter we enter the name of the student we enter the admission number class section and the age father's name mother's name everything and the job now the student added and another loop which you have created a nested termination loop of that if you want to see the data what in how manner it has been arranged so if we the look here we have done in on a dictionary so it has been in a dictionary form arranged and then thank you now to show the fee structure if you use three we see the fee structure of the command and this is the fee structure that for class first and second these are the fee structure already mentioned there is a no such things like by users the thing which was here was using operative printing or json so using that you can note here um, this command has been very well organized in a manner of subjects and class instead of being a dictionary so this is a good thing in pretty printing because you can see the previous one the data are very pre unarranged and this is the data for one student what if the data for the another student it will create a hustle between it so using json is bit better because it will arrange your data if you are using dictionary on the loops now the we have chosen fourth command choose four and we all the data are here fee structure the computer asked about class we entered 11 and then pcmcs then all the details admission number fees and the quarter of the fee submission all the things in internal things which we need to know now our fifth command which we have used so the fifth command was the and we user asked for annual fees and the subject so total annual fees is calculated to be 700 7000 72000 sorry 72000 and hence our code terminal ends here and this is a simple program for fee structures of a school school management fee this is not a school management this is a fee structure python program based and this is not based on upon any backend or frontend programs this complete thing is on python and based upon loops we have doing things on a loop now 
वी विल सी यू इन अनदर वीडियो विथ अनदर प्रोग्राम थैंक यू